Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate. Last time we left off that uh, we slayed our rats and now we're going to go collect our reward from Reaver. <clears throat> he uh, congratulates you on your battle there and gives you 5 GP and 50 EXP. I know that if your charisma is higher, you can get a little bit of higher uh, money reward. I think it's like 15 or 20. And, uh, but it's not that important. Uh, there's a priest of Ogma. He serves as a, uh, temple shop. But, uh, we don't really need that right now. I'm gonna talk to Drepin here. Drepin tells you, Philia lost her book in the hay, and also asks for an antidote, which we have, because we took it out of Holt's chest. Uh, another 50 EXP, and we're gonna grab that book, and actually skip the assassin that's in here. Seeing as how we are just a level one wizard um, without any memorized spells, and <laughs> frankly, that's the that's a strategy for death, honestly. So um, we're just not gonna mess with them. There's Fildia, the person who lost her book. Go ahead and give that to her. Another 50 EXP, and we managed to roll the uh, positive charisma roll on that. She says that she, uh, you remind her of Garion, and uh, she gives you a Lynx Eye Gem. Which I know there's a more negative response. I think it's easier to get if you are evil and start out with a lower reputation. Here's Teth Torl, uh, the guy who Firebeat asked us to uh, get the Identify Scroll from. And, uh, to be honest, uh, he's also invincible. If you ever try and fight him, don't. Uh, he's immune to absolutely everything and has a nasty habit of shooting lightning bolts. Just, just, just FYI. Um, we're gonna drop our loot on Winthrop here. It'll be the last time we talk to him. And... Give that scroll to Firebead for another 50 EXP. And he also gives you a, a... Does he give you a potion? Yes, he gives you a healing potion. And he casts Protection vs. Evil on you. Now, the Protection vs. Evil actually won't... Uh, it won't help you at all, but it's um, kind of a kind gesture on his part. Uh, saying as if he were, like, telling you he'd uh, say a prayer or be thinking... Or, like, wishing you well or something. These guys are very loud and kind of obnoxious. Um, they... They prophesy about the uh, coming, or well, the uh, spawn of Belial, or not Belial, uh, Ball. Uh, it'll make more sense later. Here's Imowen, one of my favorite characters in the game until the second game, where they totally ruined her. But uh, we're gonna be nice to her. She's kind of like your childhood friend. Um, we're gonna just tell her that uh, she can go with us, but uh, she says, "Don't be silly. I'd never be allowed to." Um, I like Imowen, but uh, it's kind of like a Luke Skywalker, uh, Princess Leia thing, so uh, just keep that in mind as you're playing. Um, here's Garai, and you can talk to him a little bit, but we're just going to go. Listen carefully. If we ever become separated, it is imperative that you make your way to the Friendly Arm Inn. There you will meet Khalid and Jahira. They have long been my friends, and you can trust them. The night can only get worse, so we must find shelter soon. Don't worry. I'll explain everything as soon as there is time. Wait, there is something wrong. We are in an ambush. Prepare yourself. You're perceptive for an old man. You know why I'm here. Hand over your ward and no one will be hurt. If you resist, it shall be a waste of your life. You're a fool if you believe I would trust your benevolence. Step aside and you and your lackeys will be unheard. I'm sorry that you feel that way, old man. In Jack's Run, child. Get out of here. Oh. Oh. Some horrible dream. Ambushed, 
You saw Gorion cut down before your eyes, and even his powerful magic could not stop the onslaught. It was his wish that you flee, but that does not remove the feeling of helplessness that now overwhelms you. Hand over your ward, the armored fiend had said. He was after you and you alone, but why? If only Gorion had given some clue. But now you are alone and lost. Candlekeep is near, but you will find no quarter there. The readers pay for their serenity with rather draconian entry rules, and without Gorion's influence, their doors will remain closed. You will not last long on your own with your meager equipment. Perhaps you can get some help from the friends Gorion mentioned, the ones at the Friendly Arm. Okay, well, I would have to say that scene pretty much played out exactly as you can interpret it. Uh, Imowen manages to follow you uh, outside of Candlekeep and um, mentions the, a letter on Gorion's body. So we're just going to go ahead and let her join the team. Um, I think she makes a great thief. Uh, primarily not for fighting uh, otherwise than with a bow, but also just with um, with the... Uh, Picking locks and detecting traps is primarily what I use her for uh, in the first game. Um, of course, in the second game, uh, they ruined her, in my opinion, by dual-classing her into a mage. Uh, so she has a oh, few levels of uh, being... Okay, now here's here's a prime example of um, of the mod I have on this game. Which I know I was complaining about mods earlier, but... Um, I meant uh, mods that uh, make the game easier by letting you uh, just teleport and change the game to your will. I only have one mod on this, and it, it randomly uh, puts monsters in the game and repopulates monsters that you've already killed. So you'll find me um, encountering things that I wasn't ready for, that I wasn't aware even existed, uh, simply because it's random uh, repopulation and uh, random placement just uh, in the first place. Also, I think uh, when they came out with this uh, with this uh, version of Baldur's Gate, the uh, Baldur's Gate 2-2, they, they changed the monsters around a little bit. But um, this is the letter on Gorion's body here. Uh, you can go ahead and read it on your uh, own time, I suppose. Um, it mentions uh, vaguely foreshadows events to come, and then is signed by E, which I have come to... Uh, which you come to the conclusion is Elminster. Holy crap! Okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna try and fight these, uh, <laughs> seeing as how I die very quickly. We need allies. Either that, we need to gain like 20 levels. Oh, come on. Did I lose him? No. Welcome to Monsteron and Zar. They are... What? They're not... Okay. Okay, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and accept them on our team. Uh, they ask you, they give you some potions, and then ask you to, uh, help them out with a problem in Nashko. Um, right now they're going to be my, uh, meat shields, to be honest. We're going to want Montron to take all the hits. Chesney and Imowen are going to use their range. And it does appear that... Okay, I don't know why that guy just came up and talked to me, but he did. Uh, Zar will shoot out a couple of his Larlock Minor Drains. Hopefully we can... Oh, and it seems like that wolf up there is glitched, which is working in my favor. Uh, now we're just going to have everyone run in here and attack... Um, Oh, that's not good. Well, if Montron dies, it's no skin off my nose. Okay, well. We successfully did that. Uh, I think that's a good part, place, place to stop. Um, when we pick up, we will be traveling to the Friendly Arm Inn.